Hi, Graham. Hi, Stephen. How are you? Um, you coordinate the United Church of Egham monthly charity book sale. Well done. <laughs> a bit of how, a how long has it been going? Um, in September this year, it will have been going for 20 years. Wow. Why, yeah. How did you start it? Why did you start it? Um, because, well, we had a church bizarre and there were some books that were left over. Somebody was going to take them down to the dump. And I have a big thing about uh, throwing things away. And I said, well, give them to me. I think there were 42 books. And I sort of said, I'll just get a table outside the church and we'll see what we do. I think we raised 14 pounds, but you know, 14 pounds is better than nothing. And that was 20 years ago. And as they say, from uh, you know, acorns to big, <laughs> big oaks grow, we now have over 10,000 books, um, which we store in the church get them out every month and uh, sell them to raise money for charity. So what's happened in the light of COVID-19? Um, we've obviously had, to, well, the church premises are closed. Therefore, we've had to close the bookstore in terms of face-to-face. -face. But I am very, very lucky to have two brilliant volunteers who have been selling um, books online. Um, there is a difference financially in terms of most bookstores we raise over a thousand pounds but we have been raising on average about 750 pounds a month so it's actually in a, in a huge amount of money um, but obviously whereas we would give 500 pounds to our charity partners we've only been able to give 250 pounds because we don't know how long this is going to go on for so we've managed to keep um, the event going behind the scenes with basically two people and me uh, more recently collecting books to top up the... Uh, the, the so shelf. you still collect? Yes. And um, and the money goes to, to local charities? So it's always a local charity. We have 10 on our books, tend to be within about five miles radius um, of the church, um, covering things like depression, the food bank, um, we have one for uh, uh, staying shop mobility, disability, um, but they are all uh, various walks of life, which um, ba mainly my members have sort of suggested that they might be a good cause. So. And if folk want to, f to buy books, where do they go? Well, at the moment we've got, say, two sellers online. Uh, we are looking to set up our own uh, church um, fundraising, I think. But at the moment, if you go onto eBay, um, My Lovely Books, which is all one word, and there's also uh, BR underscore Foxy. Um, Barry, the latter one, does the sort of specialist books, and Lynn has been selling a lot of paperbacks and other stuff on there. Um, they're available. I think Lynn's got 500-odd listings on there, and Barry, I think, had about 20, 30. So. That's amazing. It is, and, and I'm doing you know, not a not say so not a lot, um, but certainly from coordinating it before, um, certainly the workload for me has reduced. But we're trying to sort of sort out going forward how we're going to continue because even in September uh, when we're due to restart the bookstores, um, I don't know how yet how that's going to work, and uh, obviously we have to wait for government restrictions yeah. and then try and make it as safe and sustainable as possible. Because um, in good weather, you have half the bookstore outside yeah. anyway. Yeah. Well, in the actually, high street of Egham. Yeah, probably outside is probably easier than inside the church, if I'm being honest, because um, there's more space. I mean, we have obviously certain restrictions, um, but obviously it's going to be about distancing, you know, rules. The one-way system. Like, uh, well, yeah, um, yeah. We'll deal with it when you get to that Make point. Make them go past the expensive <laughs> one first. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. Do what the supermarkets do and put those special ones on the end of the road. And you've won an award recently. Uh, I was delighted. Last night, I got uh, an email from the uh, volunteering team at our local uh, Royal Holloway College, which is part of the University of London, um, to announce that we'd been um, awarded the Outstanding Charity, uh, sorry, Outstanding um, Partner uh, Award, and I was absolutely thrilled. I had got no previous notices. We won it in 2013-14. Um, basically, it's nominated, my understanding, by the students, um, and there was quite a nice sort of... Uh, citation on Facebook I but somebody from Voluntary Northwest. Uh, so what's so. the link with Royal Holloway? So for the last seven or eight years obviously we've got 10,000 students there 
that's 10,000 customers as I look and at 10, it. And 10,000 books. And 10,000 <laughs> 10, volunteers potentially. So um, we have been going up to the volunteering fair every year um, and trying to advertise the bookstore, um, partly from a customer perspective to, and also to um, get volunteers. Um, and we've been very successful. We don't get quite as many volunteers, but the quality of volunteers we're getting is exceptional. Um, really and they simple. come to help sort on a Thursday? They come to help sort, some of them come to help set up and pack away. So the, you know, depending on what they're interested in and what time they have available, um, it makes a massive difference. Even an hour or two of their time makes all the difference. Yeah. And if folk want to find out more about either donating books yeah. or or more about when you hope to start the charity book sale yep. again, where do they go? So if you go into Google and just put in Egham Charity Bookstall, um, that will come up with the United Church of Egham uh, websites and straight to the bookstall. And contact details for me um, are directly on that, that webpage. Graham, thank you very much. Thank you, Stephen.